Hey Cam, I'm just in Indox and I'm going to demonstrate to you a new feature of Indox. It's called a private folder and this is where private files can be stored. Um, I'll just jump in and show you. So when you set up a property now, we'll just put in an address. Okay, I'll just need to refresh the screen to get this to work. Okay, so I'll go and set up a property again. So I'll go 23. So I'll just put in this address. Now I'm going to say it's a house, and I'll just use the house template, which I've added this private folder feature to it in the demo account. So of course you can just go in here and grab sort of, um, you know, grab an image, whatever. Uh, and then what you'll notice is that uh, there's now this folder called private files. So what that means is now as I'm the um, uh, builder or real estate agent or conveyancer, and I'm going to upload files here and what the file I might, might upload, for example, I'll just put this one in here and this private file that I've added um, I'm going to rename the file and let's say it's it, it could be the contract, right? So if you've got something like a contract that you've added, it's got personal information like customer name and address and contract details. So that's okay for the builder, real estate agent, conveyance it to give that to the first customer being the own property owner but you don't want that to transfer to subsequent owners because it's private sensitive confidential information so that goes into the private files so you can see that goes in there and now um, we'll go back to the property so what i'm going to do now is i'll transfer it and when i transfer this i'll show you so i'm going to hand over the property I'm going to transfer it to myself. So I'll just go Andrew plus private at indox.com, right? So I'm going to hand over this property, right, from the company to the owner. And you can see that there's the private files there, right? So now I'm going to log out of here and go and access that. So let's have a look. So I'll now go to my email so I can receive it. And I've now received uh, a new property. So I'll go and log in to have a look at this new property because this is an existing account. So I go in here and I accept the ownership, right? So I go in here. I've already had one property. This is my next one. I go in here. Now I can see the private files. Um, they're there. I've got the contract there and I can view the contract, etc. But it's got a warning saying the contents of this folder will not be transferred during a handover. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test that and see if it works. I'll show you. And what you do is you now, let's say I'm selling the property and I'm going to transfer it. So I now go and transfer the property. I might not want my photos to go over um, and I'll continue to transfer, so I'll transfer to um, uh, Andrew. So I'm transferring to another owner, and I'll just Andrew plus next owner at indox.com. So I'm transferring to the logbook to the next owner, All right? So it's been transferred. So it says now for me, this is pending transfer. And I can see, I can still see what I've given. Now um, I'm going to log out and go back to that email account and see if I can see the new transfer. So now I am now the, the second owner, let's call it, or the subsequent owner. And it says, hi, previous owner is, is transferring the property records to you and what Indox does. So I go in and activate my account. I put in a password to get started and I, I'm not going to save this password but I'll go in here and accept it and I'll view my property. Now I go in here and have a look and you'll notice that I have got an updates folder from the original builder but I don't see that private folder 
that hasn't transferred to me for security reasons and privacy reasons. So that's how that works. And that's recommended that the companies, again, agents, builders, etc., put sensitive private information that only goes to the first owner into that. So anything private, secure, confidential, etc., that you wouldn't want subsequent owners to get, put that into the private folder. And they can create their own private folder. We'll add it into the templates for them. But when they set up a folder, they can just tick it as being a private folder. That's how it works. Cheers, mate.